My name is Zoe and these are my helpers, Rowan Hello. and Finley. Hello. Today we're making lava lamps, a super simple fun science experiment that teaches children about molecules and density. So Finley, um, do water and oil mix? No. Why not? Because they are different molecules. That's right, the water and the oil are made up of different molecules. Uh, Rowan, does food coloring mix with the water or the oil? No. Food coloring mixes with the water. That's right, because food coloring is water-based, therefore it mixes with the water. Uh, so we're going to make a lava lamp for you right now, and all you need is a jug of water. Some baby oil. Food coloring. Some food coloring, and your activator is uh, a simple Alka-Seltzer. So we're going to start by putting the oil into, oh you also need empty water bottles. Um, if you can get a clear bottle, it's easier to see, uh, but any kind of uh, reusable, recyclable water bottle will do. Pour in the oil, we're going to go about two thirds, that's it, tip away, two thirds uh, oil, uh, stop, to another third water, and then you're going to leave the little space at the top of the bottle so that you don't overflow. But we like to put a little plate underneath just in case. So then Rowan, you're going to add in the uh, food coloring. How much? Uh, let's go with like five or six drops. Tip it. One, two, three. One more for good luck. There we go. And what you'll see is the food coloring. Yeah, it's dripped down the side there. Finley's just going to use a little stick to give it a stir. Gently stir it. There we go. Just set that aside. Now what you'll see is that the uh, the baby oil is where. Top or bottom? Bottom. <coughs> baby oil? Oh, top, top or bottom? <laughs> so the baby oil has now come to the surface and the water has gone to the bottom. Okay, so the water and the food coloring has mixed. Um, which of these two liquids is more dense or heavier, has more stuff in it? <laughs> the water. So the water <laughs> is more dense. Um, and essentially what that means is that there's more stuff packed into uh, the water molecules than the oil. Okay? And so acid. now that we have uh, our three lava lamps, see we've got some that we made earlier, we're going to show you how the activating works. So let's just move these aside. I got a little piece here and I'm going to plop it in. Okay, Rowan's plopping hers in. Beautiful. And I have a full one. And you're going to drop in your full piece and we'll see. I'm going to take a half of yours and I'll do a half a tablet and what you'll see is that the uh, the Alka-Seltzer will start to fizz um. and then the colors will be taken up and down uh, into the oil. We'll see the little bubbles start to rise. And, and, we put, and me and Rome put Orbeez inside. So you guys have already put some Orbeez in there. Those are little water beads. And mine are and like one, going around in a circle. Yeah, Yours like are mine. spinning in circles. Oh, it's there it, goes, it goes on top of it and then it pushes the Orbeez up. So it bubbles then, around and underneath. And the Orbeez get raised up. The Orbeez don't go all the way up into the, yeah. the oil though. They just stay in the water. It goes up to the top, hits the top mm -hmm. and goes down. So you see the little bubbles going up and down, up and down, and you can experiment um, by putting in a small piece of Alka-Seltzer or a whole Alka-Seltzer uh. and just watching those bubbles go. One thing to note, mm. after you've Don't finished your activity, much. well, if you put too much in, it can start to fizz over, so make sure you have a tray underneath. Or and after you've finished your activity, um, you need to make sure that you don't put the lid on the bottle. But because there is still, still there is still gas in there, otherwise it will pop its lid. Well, thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this simple experiment. We hope that you come back and join us again soon for more fun with science.